All right, welcome guys. Today's video, we are over here in Tonbury. We're just on the other side of the river from Bangkok, and we're gonna check out a second class temple. We're gonna check out what? Sawanaram, I think is how you say it. Anyway, this is the, a second class royal temple, and it was given the name by King Rama I. It used to be called Wat Tong, which was the, like the golden monastery. And uh, it's got a lot of history with uh, executions, ghosts, uh, cremation of the royals and all of that and uh, we're going to walk around and we're going to take a look at it and see what we see so uh, hopefully it'll be pretty cool. So the temple is right here on the canal banks and there's a few boats and stuff like that that come along here. Here's a big, huge tour. And it looks like they have a pier, so you can stop here on some of the tours and walk around. So it has a canal side pavilion right here that has some Buddhas, statue of King Taxon, and then we'll look at the, the Weehan and the Ordination Hall and all of that. So you can see here, this is two statues of King Taxon, King Taxon the Great, and he actually use this site right here. Why he has his statue is they use this site here to execute Burmese prisoners of war on this site. So after uh, he recaptured Bangkok, and then he went from Bangkok up to Ayutthaya and freed that, he took some of the Burmese prisoners of war and they executed him here. So the Thais will say that there are ghosts of the Burmese soldiers that will pop up every once in a while here. And this is the little pavilion right here next to the canal. It has some Buddhas and all of that that you can stop here and uh, you can pray to, make some merit, have some fish food and all of that that you can feed the fish also. And then over here is quite a bit of the, the temple grounds. They have monk quarters and all of that and a bell tower over there. You can see right here by the gate, they have these little tiny pavilions that look like Chinese pagodas. And then you see some of the statues and all of that. And it definitely has a Chinese influence. Rama III restored this temple the most recently. And he had a lot of uh, Chinese influence in his stuff that he did. And this is the second one of these little tiny pavilions. You can see the Chinese guys right there and the boat and everything. Yeah, kind of cool. All right, let's go into the gate now. You can see here it has some of these little statues. And then what the main focus is, is going to be this Wee Han right here. The Weehan is late Ayutthaya style. And that ordination hall over there, that is a Bangkok era that was actually built by Rama IV, I believe. So it's newer than this one. So this is the compound here. It has a few small little chetties, has the ordination stones, and it has quite a few of the little figures that are uh, Chinese. This was given royal patronage by Rama I, and then it was restored again by Rama III. Rama III st restored quite a few of these temples over here in Tonbury, and whenever you see it, it definitely has the Chinese influence. You can see right here, it has a couple of little figures also, and you can see that it's bowed in the middle, just like a ship. Okay, so let's go into this ordination hall. You can see the figures here, definitely Chinese. And this one here has three doors. So it has the royal door here in the middle. This one is the only one that's open. So uh, let's go in here and look. This is the main thing to come to this temple to see. So the Buddha is in the seated position. It's like the subduing Mara, I believe, and it has Sukhothai influence. It's quite bright, that gold. This is a really a sacred Buddha image, so the Thais will come here and pray to this to make merit. And then you have uh, some pictures of Rama 10 with the little shrine in front. And then over here is the platform for the monks. Now, the murals here are the really, really special part of this temple. 
They're Bangkok era murals and they were painted during the reign of King Rama III. So they're a couple hundred years old and they're still at about 80% preservation. I mean, look at this wall. This is an absolute masterpiece. This building here was dedicated like a national treasure in 2009 because of these murals. And the artwork in it is fantastic. And this is the back side of the door. All of this is hand painted. And each of these panels is hand painted and it has some fantastic details. You can see the elephants, the people riding the elephants, carrying the sedan chair. And down here you can see where they're kind of faded off a little bit. And the back of that door is painted. And a mural over there. Yeah, these are fantastic. Now, whenever these were being painted by Rama III, what he did is he put a screen around each of these panels and then he brought artisans in to paint each individual one and nobody could see what the other one was painting. So he made it into a competition of like the best painters. And the, the detail work is just fantastic. You can see the colors and everything and just kind of the, the scheme definitely is a Bangkok era. So you have Thais fighting, you have, I think up here are maybe some Muslims you have some foreigners, like this guy right here on the horse is a foreigner. He's got a spear and he's fighting another guy. And then over here you have some of the Chinese. And then you have war elephants. It is just absolutely fantastic. There's so much little detail. And you can see how it's fading on the bottom. And it goes all around inside of this. And you can see that panel behind the Buddha. and all over there. The best panel to me though, I think is the goddess of the earth. So she's wringing out her hair and she's flooding the world. And then you have the Buddha up above her. That's a pretty common theme that you'll see on these temples is the goddess of the earth flooding the world. Let me take another look here at this Buddha. So this Buddha was cast in the Ayutthaya era, but it's from what they call the Sukhothai school which goes back to the old capital of Thailand before Ayutthaya. You can see some of the houses, somebody here lounging about, some of the animals. Yeah, this is fantastic. The thousands and thousands of man hours into painting these. So hopefully you can see it well on my camera. And these walls are a little bowed. You can see it inside here where, you know, just they've settled over, over the years. But these walls are priceless. They won't be able to restore these murals. I mean, they can paint over the top of them, but then the history of it is gone. I mean, you can see all of this detail. I mean, just look at the little temple right there. You can see all the detail in the gable, all the roof tiles, the people. Yeah, this is fantastic. And you, it is a little bowed on the bottom of this back wall also. You can see some of the waves where it's settled. And then some more of the panels over here. And you can see the Ayutthaya influence, how it has kind of the jagged line. That's the Ayutthaya styling, but these were definitely with the colors, the reds and everything. These are definitely Bangkok era. Plus they're well documented on when they were painted. And then you can see the scenes of the Buddha up above and all of that. Okay, one more look here at this back panel. You see the picture frames with some of the Chinese stuff. And then look up at the ceiling. Definitely Ayotia styling with the, uh, that teak wood. And it's got the mother of pearl in it. And then look down at that big Buddha. 
Yeah, this hull is colossal, but it is nice, nice. Okay, let's look around the compound a little bit more here. The dogs found them a pretty good place to sit, right up on the, uh, the little balcony. There's more of the temple stuff over there. Some of the, like, the assembly halls and all of that. But we're not interested in them. This right here, this is the, the Weehan. This is uh, the one that was built by King Rama V. And it still has some of the little statues and all of that that kind of look Chinese. And it has the Chetty right here. Now the this hall here is locked up and the monk said they're not going to open it. So I have no idea when, when they open it. And then over here is the bell tower. This is a nice look at the side of that, that wee hand. And you can see how they did the styling too, the same, where it's kind of bowed in the middle with the Ayutthaya style. It looks like they're building a humongous hall over there. And then here is this gate. And then back over here, this is all the monk quarters. And there's quite a few monks in residence. I'm not sure how many. I've seen probably about 10 walking around and it looks like there's more than that. Now the bell tower. Now what's special about this right here is the security guard says at 2 a.m. there'll be a ghost hanging off of the top up there. And it goes into the ties with the ghost stories that they believe that with this being the site of the Burmese uh, prisoners of war execution, as well as the cremation site for the royals, that there are ghosts all here. And a lot of the Thais are afraid to come around here at night because of that. And right here next to the bell tower is a library and it's built up on stilts, but it's all locked up. Sometimes you'll go in there, they'll have the cabinets with the Buddhist scripture and everything written on it and various other important things for this temple. Next to the temple over here, there's the Wat Suan Sanam school and they have this is the shrine that's dedicated to the the dead Burmese soldiers so this must have been the site over here where they were uh, they were executed all right guys so that's going to finish up our video over here at Wat Suwana Ram or if you want to shorten it up Wat Suwan this is a fantastic temple it's a second class temple so it has special money from the royal family with the royal patronage it has extra money so they can keep it maintained at a higher level than the, most of the temples that you see. It is fantastic. The uh, murals are definitely the highlight to come and see. But the buildings are nice. I mean, this whole place is really, really nice. There's uh, monks here, so, you know, they do keep the, the grounds in, uh, in good condition. And uh, if, during the ceremonies and everything like that, they will come over here uh, and you get blessings and pray and do all those things if you're, a, if you're Buddhist. Uh, I would definitely recommend if you're here, come over here and check out those murals that's in the uh, ordination hall. They are fantastic. They are definitely works of art. So uh, anyway, getting here, they have the canal tours and all of that. It's in Tonbury. It's uh, not too far from like the train station. So if you're taking the train out of the Tonbury uh, train station, then you could take a taxi or a tuk-tuk or something like that over here. It would be worth your time. Definitely come over here, spend an hour or so, walk around and look at all these murals and everything. So anyway guys, if you uh, like the video, make sure you click like and uh, subscribe to my channel if you're new here. This is what I do. I just go show you things that I see and tell you a little bit about what I know. Just this open narrative and uh, nothing fancy. I'm not editing them and playing loud rock music and all that. So if you like this kind of style, then stick around and uh, definitely subscriptions let you be notified whenever I post a new video. And leave me a comment, tell me what you think. If you uh, want me to uh, go do something different, tell me if you want uh, Tell me what you think. If you know a little bit more about this temple, tell me in a comment also. Uh, that would all be appreciated. So from over here in Tonbury, guys, remember, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy.